And then my sophomore year of high school, I, uh, I broke my back, or I fractured my back in four places. High school. Yeah. High school was a, a very big surprise for you in terms of growing, uh, transferring schools. You played for Crespi High School. You yeah. played for Oaks Christian High School. Yeah. Did you play anywhere else that I'm not knowing about? Yeah, I actually did. I played at Blair for, it was like for four months. It was a, like, so yeah, basically I started at Crespi. I was um, probably went in 5'8 and 130 pounds, maybe at, on my best day. Um, but my freshman year, I, I played on varsity. You know, we had we had really good players at the time. Um, our, our best player that year was uh, London Perantes, who went to uh, he went to Virginia, and he's he's played a little bit in the NBA, played overseas, played in the G League. Um, <clears throat> DeAnthony Melton was a freshman with me, went to SC with you, um, plays with the Grizzlies currently, um, and uh, another friend of mine, DJ Arisri, who played uh, he played up at Pacific, so he was another Division One player. Um, and so I, I played on varsity my freshman year and played really, really well. Um, really enjoyed the experience, like it was great. And then my, I started growing a little bit my freshman year going into my sophomore year, probably grew to, I don't know, 5'10", 5'11". Um, started picking up like scholarship offers, you know, that, that year, um, you know. <laughs> I think the dog got in. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully it's not throwing up again. You know, we don't have to go to the <laughs> we don't have to go to the hospital or the the veterinarian. But um, picked up a couple offers. Uh, uh, like Washington had offered me at the time, uh, Virginia, Utah State, like a, a bunch of like a good amount of schools ended up offering me going to my sophomore year. So I was like, you know, kind of building myself. Um, you know, just to explain the story of the the high schools, I guess. Um, and then my sophomore year of high school. I, uh, I broke my back or I fractured my back in four places. I did um, not know that. Yeah. So I fractured my back in four places. Um, how did you do that? So how I think it happened, I don't remember. I just remember when it started hurting, but I remember one day, uh, we were actually playing modern day in a, a fall league game. Like, uh, so it actually didn't mean anything, which kind of sucks, but I like fell on my back like, uh, and from then on, like I was, I started getting shooting pain down my, my back into my legs. Um, but it would only happen. It was so weird. It only happened ever so often. Um, and then later into my, I played with it for probably three months or so. And then after a while I, um, I got hit in the leg. Right. And so I couldn't move my leg very much like at all. Like I got hit in the quad, like a, you know, I got a, a bruise or a quad bruise and I couldn't really move my leg at all. And so I'd, I'd seen a doctor and he told me basically, he was like, uh, yeah, you're, you're, we think your quad's okay, but we want to get your back checked out because it just wasn't moving properly. And then got a, a, a CT scan and they found like four fractures L5 in my back. So it was pretty, pretty wild. And I remember actually asking the doctor, I was like, Hey, you know, I've been, I guess I've been playing with it for a while. Like what's the worst case scenario if I keep playing? He's like, Oh, if you take a bad fall or something and it like slips, you could like be paralyzed or something. So I was like, Oh, okay, nice. I'm, I'm going to shut it down. Um, so I actually had this like big plastic, uh, back brace, like it looked like a, a turtle shell basically. Um, and so I had to wear that for, man, for probably six months, six, seven Did months. you like cry at any time during that point thinking that your basketball career was probably maybe over? Yeah, I mean, like it was, you couldn't do anything. You're like, if I hit fall one more time, can't surf, I can't, I can't play basketball, I can't tackle someone. No, I, I mean, yeah, at the time I was just like, you know, I was kind of singularly focused on getting back to like where I was and, you know, focused on college and high school. But it was, it was really sad for me, like, you know, seeing my friends play, you know, in high school and, and do well and, you know, see them play AAU. And I'm just basically sat at home. Like I couldn't even go to school for a while because the doctor was like, it was, it was really bad for a while. And so... Like I had to homeschool for a little bit because I couldn't even like sit in the desk, you know, with the with the back brace on. I couldn't even sit in this desk, and then I would have like, you know, I'd have been in a chair, and I don't know. It was just a whole thing. So I ended up talking to school, and I was like, "Hey, can I homeschool for a while?" Like, and they were like, "Yeah, okay." And um, you know, so they tried to work with me. I think the best that they could at the time, but um, it just ended up being really like awkward coming back, and um, 